we first met in primary school. Just down there. Um, went in Grilling Gibbons, went to school together. Um, yeah, and then we separate, went separate ways, obviously. She went to secondary school, college, so on, uni even. And a couple of years back, we met up again for the first time because she became friends with my best one of my best friends, Samson. When I met her again for the first time in ages, in what, six years, I could say that I knew there was something different about her. That she wasn't like any other girl I'd ever met before. Not like any other guy I'd ever seen or spoken to before. She was special. He's coming back from a work trip in America. So at the airport, at the arrival gate, we're going to surprise her with a card say, saying Mrs. Gray to, to um, invite her as if to say we're going to pick her up and as she gets closer, we're going to spin the card where it'll say, will you marry me? And get down on one knee, do a little, say a little couple words and yeah. To be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit anxious, I'm a bit nervous about proposing. Just hoping that everything runs smooth, everything goes well, I guess is right now kind of giving me the heebie jeebies. But if I'm honest, I am excited about starting this new chapter in my life, about opening this new book and actually getting forward to actually getting married to this girl, to be honest. So, yeah, that's what she says, yes. How are you feeling at the moment? I'm, I'm happy still, I can't even lie. I'm a happy man plan. right now, man. It went to plan-ish, you know, that's that's the key when you don't plan too much, boy. When you don't plan too much, things work according to plan, innit? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes when you fail to plan, you plan well. <laughs> you know? Congrats, congrats, congrats. Safe, my brother. Well done. Officially out of baby boys on. We tango. Oh no. We tango. I'm a toddler now, G. <laughs>